Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Boise State Broncos and the Wichita State Shockers. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Shockers should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Next, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Finally, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. He's got a nice shot fake. Tries for two, and he missed. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. With a bucket, doesn't go. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Trying to pack it inside. They move it into the front court. Goes up for two. And he scores despite the hack. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He fires away. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. The Shockers have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Number 32 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Number 21 gets the pass. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He'll regroup the offense. Number one takes it away. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. Inside, ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. Gave it up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Number five is called for the foul. First team foul. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Number 32 with the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. On the outside. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. him in the low block but opted against it here he is defensively and this is going to be an academy award dick absolutely academy award at its best he keeps the dribble as they reset inside number 21 draws the personal 
That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. At the free throw line. Makes the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Fed the low block. He gets it to fall. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Basket falls despite the contact. Number 21 takes the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. He does the sweet fake shot. The defense traps him into a five-second call. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. On the dribble, gives it up. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. around the perimeter. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. There he is, puts the ball loose. Gave it up. Number 32 takes the feed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up for three. He gets it to go. that ball movement get that good spacing goes up for two perfectly executed here's the replay the frustration right there the point guard with the ball looking for a good shot he goes for three. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Up and inside. Kicks off the lazy pass. For two, he nails the shot. On the inside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Number one with the foul. First personal foul. He'll look at a pair of free throws. 
He misses it. And there they miss one. Rebound coming the other way. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Number 15 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Working it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Way off target. The offense is having big trouble shooting against this zone. Yeah, because they're not penetrating the gaps, then kicking it out. They've got to attack if they're going to be successful against the zone. They're off into transition. Looking for contact. Number one makes the finger roll. Shooting guard gets the ball. Off the rim and no good. Turns it over. Gave it up. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Number two is feeling great right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Wichita State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He shoots from the elbow. That was nice. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> now they work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He makes the block. They'll work it around the arc. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And he can't hit the shot. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Here's a double team. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basket off. With anticipation defensively. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He's got some room. Tries for two. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Looking for the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. For the bucket. In and out. Goes up for two. Doesn't.
can go. Cross court. He tries the three. Wichita State are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Nick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Fakes it. There they come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Intercepted. the high pick from the top of the circle he's got to pass those off there he doesn't trust his teammates Brad another turnover and we're not talking about the turnovers either puts it up looking for contact easy one He dials long distance. Wichita State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. On the outside. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. For the bucket. Up, easy one. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Tickles a twine. <laughs> Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. the perimeter leaning in trying to draw contact only the replay can do this justice you better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps a defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And a momentary look from three-point land. He drains the shot. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. He puts up the tray. Boise State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. 
Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Double team now, bad angle. He fires from long range. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Nice fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He puts it in with contact and all. There's the trap. From way outside. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. He intercepts it. On the outside. The ball goes out of play. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Up and inside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That's a good job drawing the foul off the pro hop, Brad. Well, the defender really didn't have a choice. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Both free throws go. Opportunity for two for one. Goes for the steal down low and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance and he lost, baby. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They're working around the perimeter. Jump hook from the low post. They still don't score. Shot clock is dead. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Picks off the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. At halftime, the Shockers are down by eight.
Wichita State has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Great defense. Pump fakes. The point guard handles the feed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. High post screen. Way off target. Finger roll. Looking for a good shot. He pump fakes. Tries for two. And in and out. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. With the free one. First shot, good. Gets the second shot. He can't shake the pressure. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. For the deuce, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal it off. Nice high post screen. For the bucket, Boise State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. Working around the perimeter. He launches a three. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. You got to let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. He steps up to the line. He missed it. He cleans the glass. On the outside. Got a nice screen. Off the rim and no good. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. 
Goes up for two. He gets the board. For two. And he missed. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Turnaround jumper. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. They work the perimeter. Number 24 is charged with the foul. Third team foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Misses the second. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. It's the third shot. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The point guard handles the pass. Shoots it. Makes the shot. Watch the replay coming up. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. The dribble gives it up. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Number 50 steps to the line for the first time. First shot is no good. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. It's the second shot. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Picks off the lazy pass. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. On the outside, he shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Strips the ball. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. A little burst to go up in shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Way to cover the ball on defense. It causes a five-second infraction. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. They're set to throw it in from the side. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Steal. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He missed. 
The point guard receives the pass. They're working around the perimeter. Now the high screen. Wichita State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help stop. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Takes away the pass. The shooting guard receives the ball. Off the rim and no good. They aren't giving an inch on D out there, Dick. Hey, Brad, they're playing the way they drew it up in the locker room. Gave it up. Tries to get the D to bite. And he'll kick it back outside. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He puts up the tray. He shows the sweet touch. The Shockers lead by nine. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper doesn't go. He drains the bucket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the rim and no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Up and inside. Three. He can't get the J to go, despite running off the nice screen. For two, and he missed. Wichita State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle too, but he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. They're working around the perimeter. Fakes a jumper. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. That screen away. And off the mark. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Way off target. On the outside. Let's it fly. He nails the bucket.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from left of the circle. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Thanks, Aaron. Perfectly executed. Gave it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fake. That one goes back from where it came. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, that absolutely makes you lose here. And you get ball like, oh, yeah. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, possibly a block. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Rims out. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Moving it around the perimeter. He takes the three. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Shoots. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Step out on that screener. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He shoots from left of the circle. He buries it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He's money with a shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. <laughs> Number 22 is whistled for the foul. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside.
Tremendous defensive effort, and that forces a five-second violation. They'll throw it in from the side. Good fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number one with the steal. It's a fast break possibility for the deuce. Up, oh, easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He intercepts it. A high screen. Takes the shot. You bet. Up and inside. Leans in. Wichita State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Robs him of the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Can't get the shot to go. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. With the fake on the outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Rims out. Goes for the deep one. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Goes up for two. Pushes it. Here they go, into transition. Working it around the perimeter. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by following Brad. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Second one, good. of any game is final. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. They keep forcing them to set up in the half court. Gave it up. 
Got a wide open look. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Shot clock is dead. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And his shot rejected. And the ball goes out of play. Defense taking away any open looks. He shows the sweet touch. Kicks it out. Cross court. Picked off. Just puts it up there. Rims out. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Wichita State is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.